Hey guys, in this video we're gonna be checking out the 9 best R15 muzzle brakes and compensators today. I made this list based on my personal opinion and hours of research, and have listed them based on quality, durability, price and more. For more information on the mentioned products and the actual prices check the links in the description below. Ok, so let's get started. Precision Armament M4-72 Severe Duty Compensator the Precision Armament M4-72 Severe Duty Compensator tops the performance charts with 74.03% recoil reduction. In terms of sheer performance, this is the best muzzle brake for hunting and competition. This is mostly due to the rearward baffles that redirect gas to the sides and rear, away from the shooter. The baffles also have a slight upward angle to help mitigate muzzle rise, as well. The bottom of the compensator is closed, which minimizes your dust signature when firing from kneeling and prone positions, and keeps your view of your target clear. For easier handling, the M4-72 is compact and follows the contour of the barrel. It's about the size of a standard birdcage flash hider. So it won't snag on gear or clothing during high-tempo or high-stress shooting. The only thing to watch out for is the concussion. This unit delivers a bit of pop to anyone standing to the sight of your rifle while you're shooting. In the end, this model definitely delivers the most bang for your buck and offers excellent recoil mitigation for any shooting context. V7 Weapon Systems Furion Titanium Muzzle Brake The V7 Weapon Systems Furion Muzzle Brake reduces recoil by 64.36%. The recoil reduction is better than most. However, titanium construction makes this model lighter than average. It comes in at just 1.67 ounces. So it's a good candidate for lightweight trifles. The Furion is tuned for 14.5 to 20 inch barrels, and the baffles are more open on top of the device to reduce muzzle rise. This muzzle brake delivers its best performance on tactical carbines. A closed bottom reduces dust when shooting from the kneeling or prone, for better target visibility. Lastly, the Furion comes in either silver or black. So you've got aesthetic options. Sadly, the price point is a tad high. So the performance per dollar is a bit lower than other muzzle brakes. The Furion is best for competition shooters who need a lightweight trifle to reduce fatigue and can use their shooting grip to deal with recoil. Auden Works Atlas 5 Compensator. The Auden Works Atlas 5 Compensator reduces recoil by 64.09%. What makes the Atlas 5 unique is the three piece construction. This design makes this unit super easy to install. The piece that fixes to the, the barrel doesn't need to be timed, just tighten it down. There's a titanium sleeve that slides on and rotates easily to get the timing you want. Then the end cap clamps the whole thing together once it's timed how you like. What's cool is that you can set the timing to direct gases in any direction. If you're a right-handed shooter, you can time this muzzle brake to push the rifle down and to the right to combat your natural muzzle rise. Aesthetically, this is the only muzzle brake that offers a cool two-tone look. However, when the Atlas is timed straight up, it offers only a little muzzle rise mitigation. It's also surprisingly heavy for its size at 4.198 ounces. This model comes at a good price for an adjustable muzzle brake. It's a great option for shooters who want customized muzzle brake performance at a fair price. Apex Tactical Enhanced Stabilization Attachment. The name might be excessive, but the Apex Tactical Enhanced Stabilization Attachment reduces recoil by 60.5%. The brake itself is well made and includes a vertical gas vent that helps reduce muzzle rise. However, this unit is primarily a muzzle brake. So the compensation is minimal. Additionally, the brake is very streamlined. It's not much larger than the barrel diameter. So it won't snag on anything. However, where this piece really shines is in the price point. It performs better than average. But the price is around half of what most muzzle brakes cost. So the performance per dollar is way up there. So while it's not the best muzzle brake, it's a great option for shooters who want recoil mitigation at the lowest possible price. Dead Air Armament Key Mount The Dead Air Armament Key Mount muzzle brake performs surprisingly well for a dual-purpose muzzle device. It reduces recoil by 56.63%. While the recoil reduction is middle of the road, the key mount muzzle brake also has lugs for attaching the dead air Sandman L and Sandman S suppressors. They are three vertical vents to reduce muzzle rise. And the bottom is closed to reduce dust signature and low shooting positions. Then, the concussion is more bearable than comparable muzzle brakes, which makes sense, since this model is designed to work with a suppressor. The only real struggle with this unit is the weight. The suppressor lugs add a fair bit of metal to the brake. It weighs in at 4.092 ounces. 
Given the weight and performance, this is definitely a muzzle brake for those who want some recoil mitigation and suppressor compatibility. Knight's Armament QDC MAMS Muzzle Brake The Knight's Armament MAMS Muzzle Brake reduces recoil by 52.76%. That's decent considering the MAMS serves three purposes. Muzzle Brake, Flash Hider, and Suppressor Mount. First, the functionality. The MAMS has lugs for attaching the CAC UDC suppressor, which is handy if you have a carbine that you use for defense and competition. The MAMS also works as a flash hider. Unfortunately, its performance as a flash hider is unimpressive. But, it has decent compensation capabilities. A set of holes along the top of the muzzle brake help keep the muzzle level during rapid fire. The bottom of this model is closed to reduce the dust signature when shooting from the kneeling or prone. Although this piece offers good functionality and decent recoil reduction, the price is really high. The performance per dollar is pretty poor. Given the price, this muzzle brake is best for people who use one gun for defense and competition and really like the CAC UDC suppressor. Precision Armament A Fab Hybrid. The Precision Armament A Fab Hybrid muzzle brake boasts the performance of a fully functional muzzle brake and a dedicated compensator. The AFAB reduces recoil by 50.55%. In addition to the standard muzzle brake performance, the AFAB functions as well as a dedicated compensator with several vertical vents that reduce muzzle rise during rapid fire. The AFAB also has a grid of channels that diffuse and cool redirected gases. These channels significantly reduce concussion. So this is a good option if you shoot at an indoor range. The AFAB also sports the performance of a dedicated flash hider and reduces muzzle flash significantly more than a standard muzzle brake. This is definitely the best option for anyone who wants a dedicated compensator, but wouldn't mind a bit of recoil reduction as well. Dead Air Armament Sandman T. The Dead Air Armament Sandman T reduces recoil by 49.45%. The performance is decent considering this is primarily a sound suppressor. The nice thing about the Sandman T is that it's compatible with both 5.56mm 300 blackout and .308 rifles. So this is a handy piece to have if you've got an R15 and an R10. Since it's a suppressor, there's less concussion than firing a rifle with a bare muzzle. This is definitely the best option for a defensive carbine nor those who want to be nice to their neighbors at the range. This is also the heaviest muzzle device in this article, by far. It comes at at 16.8 ounces. And it's the most expensive. Even though it's cool that this suppressor gives some recoil reduction, it's not a great option for anyone looking for serious recoil reduction. This is best installed on a home defense rifle for the sound reduction. Surefire Warcomp. The Surefire Warcomp flash hider reduces recoil by 35.91%. The recoil reduction is pretty decent, considering this is a dedicated flash hider that happens to offer recoil reduction. As a flash hider, the Warcomp is one of the best. It nearly eliminates muzzle flash. This is handy for short-barreled rifles, since the muzzle flash from a short barrel can be almost blinding. It's not a dedicated muzzle brake, so the concussion is comparable to a bare muzzle blast, which is minimal. This unit also provides mounting lugs for surefire soakum fast attach suppressors. The gases aren't redirected upward. So this muzzle device generates a significant dust signature when shooting from the kneeling or prone. Lastly, this flash hider is surprisingly heavy, despite the minimal design. It weighs in at 3.845 ounces, which is heavier than most dedicated muzzle brakes. This is a good option for a short-barreled rifle or an R15 pistol. Shooters who want decent performance with and without a suppressor should also consider this flash hider. A muzzle brake is almost a must-have piece of gear these days, especially for competitors. Muzzle brakes give a noticeable performance boost. You'll be at a disadvantage if you compete without one. Thanks for watching and that's all for this video. If you like this video and it helped you out in any way, please give the video a like and hit the subscribe button. Hope to see you guys in the next video. Till next time, I'll see you later.